Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is the game. Jeremy McWilliams. Remember the name. What is up, my limitless peeps? First off, welcome to the video. Second off, welcome to my Thursday, March the 12th. We have arrived. You guys will never guess where. And it is officially Ross o'clock. All right, guys, so I've been here for at least like an hour. Checked out every section, every row, which there's quite a few of them at this Ross. And this, Plus this guy is the lineup I'm working with right meow. So we got the LeBron Soldier 13s in the Duke or Kentucky Blue and White colorway. Price tag $54.99, comparable value, stars, on stars, on stars. The weird thing about these, not sure how well you guys can see that. Actually it says seven, so yeah, that's wrong, but can't really show it to you because that tag right there is like way down in the shoe. But these are size four. I don't know about you guys, but I had no idea they made men's shoes in a size 4. These dudes are by far the smallest pair of kicks I've ever found in the men's section at Ross. I thought they were kids, so I was trying to do some research. I'm still not like 100% sure they're not kids, but they're in the men's section. And I can't find anywhere that says like big kids or preschool, so I don't know. Next up to bat is these Nike golf shoes. I think they're called like Nike Air Zoom Victory Tour pretty clean looking and I'm all about the bottom. The bottom looks sweet. I'm digging this little bubble too. This thing's pretty clean. I've never seen it before. On to the price tag. $34.99 comparable value $135 and on eBay they're selling for at least twice that. This one's a size 9. I think there's like three other size 9's on eBay so not too much competition. I think the cheapest one is listed at like 75 or best offer so I'll probably play the uh, waiting game with these guys. Wait till someone grabs that pair and then list these dudes a little bit higher. See if we can flip them for like maybe 100 something like that. And then last but certainly not least we got these dudes. The Nike Zoom Rookie Penny Hardaways. Kind of look like foam posits. Maybe they are, not 100% sure. Either way, these ones are by far the most expensive of the three. Coming in at $74.99, comparable value 105, which definitely isn't right. I think retail, these were closer to like 150, 160. On eBay, they're selling for like 130 and up. And this one is a size 10 and a half, which is a pretty solid size to resell. As for Tiny Tim over here, size four, I'm still not 100% sure if these are indeed men's shoes. I think they are, because I couldn't find anything about them being like grade school or preschool size. So fingers crossed, we just found a unicorn and maybe this is just like a really rare size, which hopefully means they'll sell for a lot of cash money or maybe not. I have no idea how many uh, people out there actually wear a size four, but uh, I guess we'll find out. The more I think about it, the more I realize that there's probably a huge market for a size four. Because when you think about it, there's not too many guys out there that have feet that stop growing at size four. <laughs> I think the average shoe size for a male is probably, I'd say between like nine and 10, which means on the way to nine or 10, you gotta hit four at some point. So something tells me there's not gonna be too much competition for a size four. They're once again $54.99. The other sizes are selling on eBay for like 100 and up, but obviously, like I said, there's no other size fours, which means no competition. I also couldn't find anything about size four LeBron Soldier 13s on my friend Google, and Google knows everything, so if he doesn't know anything about a size four, I don't think anyone does. But we're gonna grab them, take the gamble, flip the coin. Hopefully we can flip these LeBron Soldier 13 Mini-Me's into some serious cheddar cheese. <laughs> All right, enough corniness for one video. You know what, scratch that. Being honest, you guys will probably see a little bit more corniness before this video is over. So stay tuned real quick before we hit the road jack. I'll give you guys a quick little tour of the Notorious Ross men's shoe section. You guys ready? Let's do this. Starting out at size 10 on both sides. 
So we got a whole lot of nothing. Ten and a half over there is where I found, actually I'm pretty sure I found these golf shoes like right here. So you guys see that empty spot right there? Yeah, just picture these guys being there. All right, now that we got that mystery solved, let's continue the tour. Let's see, moving right along to size nine, we have the Nike Special Edition Easter Egg Converse looking, what is this thing? Oh, ho, ho, ho. check this out. You guys know Easter's coming up, right? Check out those bad boys. Have a little cracked Easter egg on the sole. I'm digging it. Size six, I guess the price tag is $35 and comparable value is 49 buckaroos. Someone tells me that's probably not too accurate. May as well look these dudes up real quick though. All right, they definitely look uh, unique and festive for the upcoming holiday. Unfortunately, eBay's not really digging them too much. And you guys see that 35 number right there with a dollar sign in front of it? Yeah, they resell for around twice that with free shipping. And that's about all I gotta say about Mr. Easter Egg because as you can see, my middle finger is about to fall off. So let's speed up this tour before I lose all feeling in my middle finger and have to amputate it. That make this uh, whole shoe hunting adventure a little bit more challenging. So definitely don't want that. Three is a crowd. Time to go check out. All right, guys. So I had to cut that tour a bit short because there's quite a few people around me that started coughing. They were not covering their mouths too well. And I don't know about you guys, but I am not trying to catch the coronavirus. I am definitely not about that life. I'm already pretty sketched out about going out in public places at the moment, especially now that there's been quite a few confirmed cases in Florida. And just this morning or yesterday, they confirmed the first case of the coronavirus in Seminole County, which is the county that I live in in Florida. So uh, yeah, that one hits pretty close to home. The patient that tested positive is actually at the hospital in Altamont Springs, which is where I was planning on going to film some content for a different video. But uh, yeah, my plans changed. And instead of heading towards Altamont Springs, I headed pretty much the exact opposite way towards the Deltona area, which is right around where the Ross that I just came out of is. So now, not exactly sure what I'm doing. 20 minutes later. I'm just pulling up to Ross number two. We made it. Let's get in, find the treasure, and get out ASAP. All right, here we are. Men's shoe section, starting out the smaller sizes, size eight. Not seeing any treasure yet. Except these guys, which we see everywhere. And like I say, every time I point them out in a video, I do not understand why the Air Force 270s do not resell well. Especially this colorway. It's probably my favorite colorway. But they're still $74.99 at every Ross I've seen them at. People don't seem to be picking them up for whatever reason. So eventually, I think Ross will drop the price. And at that point, I might even grab a pair for myself or my collection. But in the meantime, gonna have to leave these dudes behind like usual and continue the treasure hunt. Moving on to nine. Not seeing much. What are these dudes? Puma. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Treasure spotted. Oh yeah. Found some Vapor Maxes. Man, I've not found a pair of Vapor Maxes in a long, long, long time. $64.99, comparable value, stars on stars on stars. What did I say right when I walked in? I said, let's go in, find the treasure, grab the loot, and get out of there as fast as we can. This is definitely the kind of treasure I was talking about. But before we go, I guess we may as well check out the rest of the shoe section. This is all it is right here. It's pretty tiny, Ross. At least as far as the men's shoe section is concerned. So where are we at? Size 10. Not seeing much. Hold up. I do see something that I'm very familiar with. Some LeBron Soldier. What are these? I want to say these are Soldier 12s. I think I've sold more LeBron Soldier 10, 11, 12, even 13 more than anything else on eBay. Mostly the Bronze Soldier 11s. Those ones seem to resell the best, but the 12s aren't too bad. Size 13 
in a Carolina blue colorway. I actually just grabbed this exact colorway and it's sitting at home. I just listed it on eBay a couple days ago. It might even be the same size. I'm thinking it's a 14, maybe even a 15 though. 13 is not too bad, not too big. My cutoff, like I said in the last video, is pretty much at this point a size 15. Anything above that, it's just not worth it. It's way too hard to resell for these guys. Oh yeah, 14. So it's about as close to the limit as I'm willing to get. 39.99, comparable value 98. Guessing these dudes are probably the same. Yes, sir. So I am willing to channel my inner Rick Ross and push it to the limit. Push it to the limit. But my limit is size 14 these dudes so we're definitely grabbing the treasure chest right here aka the vapor maxes which i didn't even check out the size what are we working with Ooh, size 10. now i got a little bit of a dilemma on my hands because this is my size and i'm definitely digging the colorway hmm choices choices in the meantime i'm gonna grab these two check out the rest of the racks real quick racks on racks on racks look these two dudes up on ebay I guess this one as well, and then hit the road jack, because I'm starving. All right, all right, all right. Not too much going on besides what I already showed you guys. Already coming to the end at the big boy sizes right now, and what do you know? An orange pair, Kobe, AD, Exodus. Another orange pair. We have some Oreo Kyrie 4s, I think they are right there. Some PG 2.5s. I actually really like that colorway. Unfortunately, it's a size 18. I think the Kyrie's are as well. That orange pair is a 15, and that one's 15 and a half, which is just above that cutoff line. Other than that, ooh, we got another pair of LeBron Soldier 12s down here, purple and white. We have the Air Monies, because, you know, what shoe hunt video would be complete without some Air Money in it. And that, my friends, is about it. And now that we got the loot, we gotta get out of here before some other pirates trying to rob us. All right, so I just checked out the kids section real quick. Not too much to see, except these guys. What are those? No, check these out. The Skechers, Vapor Max, Special Edition, orange, white, gray. For real those Skechers, what are you doing, man? Don't let anybody tell you that's all, folks. There's always more. You just gotta ask for it. Now spread those wings and fly! Take a shot, you got everything you'll ever need. You fought, you're not gonna let up on the speed. Those knots, they got you, we're only make